All right, so we're working with Smokey on some place training um, for the door. Okay, Smokey, good boy. So most of the time, the owners have a really hard time like getting their dogs to listen when there's a knock place. And so we're just proofing this a little bit. He knows how to place, but we're now adding it with um, something that matters. And so when they're on place, I, I don't really care what they're do as long as they're quiet and not destructive. So he can stand, he can sit, he can lay down. Um, I'm going to feed him for being on the bed. And if I go away, he's required to stay here. So I'm not actually saying stay. I'm just saying smoky place. And keeping him there if a doorbell rings if someone's delivering something and it's really critical that when people come Sounds over like good smoky that people ignore him so what a lot of people want to do when they come over is they see a cute dog on the bed they want to come up and greet him but we have to remember that we're working on impulse control and making sure that he's not peeing when people pet him and so this is a very clear way for us to get him out of the way, keep him feeling safe and secure, and from keep him from having this like spazzy fits of nipping or peeing or jumping or um, barking for attention. And so if he were to exhibit any of those like neurotic behaviors on the place that I would correct him with the e-collar, okay, Smokey. Um, and I'm making it really clear when he's allowed to get off. So by telling him, okay, I'm not actually saying the word stay, um, smoky place. So I just put him on. I'm going to do a little tap on the e-collar there. So I held it down um, until he started to make his journey there. Um, and then getting him back, you know, on if he were to break for whatever reason, I can come up and feed him. Good job, Smokey. So really, really good. And then just releasing him when it's time for him to get off. Okay, Smokes. Good. So really good for him. He's doing really good with this. Good job, buddy.